today we are talking about the Gemini full moon. We have a full moon happening in the sign of Gemini on December 7th and we're going to talk about what this means, what you need to know about it, and what it also means for your sign. But don't go skipping straight to your rising sign because if you do, you're missing out on a lot. You're just not going to get as much out of it without having this astrological foundation that we're going to go over first. So everybody, no matter what sign you are, you can relate to this first part that we're going to go over about this and then find out where all of this is happening for you for your rising sign. My energy may be a little bit different in this video because I do believe I am coming down with some kind of sickness. I can just feel it. And so do excuse me if that is the case. Okay, you guys, so here is the tea, darling, on this Gemini full moon. This full moon ugh, looks a little cray-cray, okay? It looks a little cray-cray, but I do believe that it's going to bring a lot of really interesting insights and information with it. I'm going to talk about why that is, so don't worry. So first, let's go over the basics in case you are brand spanking new to one of these videos or astrology, etc. What is a full moon? So a full moon is when the sun and the moon are on opposite ends of each other. They are as far as they can get from each other in the sky. They are literally on opposite ends of each other and the earth is in the middle, right? So when this happens, the moon reflects the sun's light. So it gets very bright, right? And we can see the moon is full in the sky and it's very bright. What this means symbolically and astrologically speaking is that full moons happen to show us something, to light something up, to bring our awareness, our attention to something, just like the sun is lighting up the moon in the sky. So full moons are usually peak moments. They bring heightened sensitivity, heightened emotions, heightened sensation, heightened intuition, and they bring a lot of things out. They expose a lot of things to us. They can bring kind of like a stronger level of intensity as well with whatever is going on around a full moon. So a full moon is very symbolic of exposing something and really bringing something to the surface. So this particular full moon on December 7th is happening in the sign of Gemini. Gemini is the sign of information. It is a mutable air sign. So that means it is an air sign, which is mental communication, speaking, learning, dealing with facts and information, but it's mutable. So that means it's changing. So Gemini is always changing its mind. Okay. It is always taking in new information, considering new information. And so it's always kind of back and forth, changing its mind and looking at new information, looking at new facts, looking at new perspectives, talking about new things, interacting with new things. So this full moon can bring a lot of that Gemini energy where it can kind of feel like things are a little bit all over the place, mentally speaking, but also communication wise. Now, this full moon in particular is even more intense and even more of a big deal because it's going to be conjunct Mars, the planet Mars in the sky. Now Mars is in the middle of its retrograde, right? Mars has been retrograding for a little over a month. And this full moon is actually symbolizing it's happening right on Mars, right at the halfway point of Mars's retrograde. Okay. So we've been going back and redoing, relearning, rethinking, just retracing our steps in some area of our lives, wherever we have Gemini within our charts. And we'll talk more about that, where, where it is specifically for you when we get to the signs. But so with this full moon conjunct Mars, it is definitely bringing a massive revelation, new information, new sides, new things to kind of consider, new ways of seeing something, new ways of looking at something. It's definitely bringing a mental shift. Okay. So it's safe to say that I think the biggest theme of this full moon in Gemini that is happening on December 7th is going to be changing our minds about something, changing the way that we are seeing something, changing the way that we've been thinking about something or going about something. It's like new revelations are really going to come in. And the problem though is, is that maybe we've invested a lot of time and energy. Maybe we believed very strongly in a certain way that we were going, or maybe we, we really invested a lot of ourselves or a lot of something into this direction that we were going in. But now we are kind of rethinking that. We are kind of changing our minds. We're kind of seeing things from different angles and we're starting to rethink the way in which we've been going about something, the way we, in which we've been thinking about something, the way in which we've been speaking about something. And so this full moon is very, very much about changing our minds, a massive mindset shift, a massive mindset change. Now, because though this full moon is conjunct Mars, 
This can bring some animosity. This can bring some arguments, some debates. This can bring a lot of different information or conflicting information kind of happening very quickly and very intensely. This can bring a lot of frustration and annoyance as well because not only is this full moon about changing our minds, but you may see this with other people in your life as well, where everybody just seems to be changing their mind all the time lately. Or, you know, people, uh, maybe you have plans and then someone's like, oh no, I changed my mind. That, that just doesn't feel aligned anymore for whatever reason. Or new information is revealed, new information comes in. And so you're like, oh gosh, like I'm seeing this totally differently now. This is not the same perspective that I had before, right? And so this can be quite annoying and frustrating on different ends and it can be a very massive energy that will possibly and potentially very likely bring in arguments, debates, back and forth, you know, kind of maybe facing a challenge or facing a conflict because of all of the the air, mutable air energy that we're going to be having with this full moon, all of the changing, all of the shifting, you know, and so people are going to feel the intensity of this full moon and it can bring up some annoyances with other people, some frustrations with other people because people can maybe feel like they're all over the place or they're very unsure or they're very flaky or they are, you know, constantly back and forth. You can't can't really pin down where they're at with something. And so, but we could be feeling that way as well. So we're all going to be feeling this to some extent in our lives, or we're going to be seeing it with other people in their lives. And so it's going to be quite an interesting energy that also has this mirroring or doubling effect where, you know, things can happen in twos because that's kind of just the Gemini energy, right? Like we may change our mind about something and then someone else may change their mind about something. And it just kind of keeps doubling and doubling and doubling. And so we do want to just be weary of that, that this full moon can come with confrontation. This full moon can come with conflict. This full moon can come with, you know, stating an unpopular opinion or changing our minds about something, changing how we're feeling about something, and then having to face that or face the reactions from that change. This is really what we're going to be seeing. And it may feel like our minds are a little bit all over the place. It may feel like, you know, uh, communication and information is a little bit all over the place. And it can just feel like a, a ping pong ball, just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But here is the thing, okay? So here is the tea of all of this, right? This full moon on Mars is ruled by Mercury. So we need to look at where Mercury is at, what Mercury is doing to get even more information about this full moon and what it could bring and what it may be symbolizing within our lives. And so Mercury, it just entered into Capricorn at the time of this full moon. So this is very, very interesting. So not only are we having mental shifts, mindset shifts, we are considering new information. There's new information that is bringing in a sense of possible conflict or upheaval or challenge that we're now having to consider. And we are now having to look at the information, look at the facts of the situation rather than what we want to believe about the situation, right? Because the sun's been in Sag. So we've been kind of just like, I want to believe this, or I want to go here, or I'm fired up about this, or I, I am passionate about this, or I'm ambition, ambitious about this. We've been in this more impulsive energy, looking at the big picture, looking at, you know, wanting to just believe in something. But you know, this Gemini full moon's coming in to say, okay, well, we need common sense here, right? We need to actually look at the facts, look at the data, look at the information, look at the proof here, um, and come back down to earth a little bit more so we can make some changes because we can't just be frolicking off out of just, uh, just this belief if this belief is no longer correct factually anymore for us, or if this is no longer aligned with us, right? And so it's like, we're having to come down, <laughs> we're having to come down from that, bigger picture perspective and look at the details and look at the straight up facts about things, right? And so Mercury is now in Capricorn, like I said, and Mercury rules this full moon. And so Mercury in Capricorn is like, yo, we need solid, stable, responsible, okay, mature structure here, right? We need a, a plan, a goal. We need something to build upon right? And so what I think that this, this is saying here with this full moon is that we are changing our minds because there is a stable and more 
secure and responsible way of going about something. There's more of a mature way of going about something, right? It's like we're growing up, we are maturing, uh, we are looking at things from a more secure and solid way instead of just trying to wing it, right? And so it's like this full moon is happening to get our attention to focus on the reality of something, the reality of a situation here, right? The reality of a situation. And it doesn't mean that if the reality of the situation looks like it looks like it's more negative than the viewpoint we had before, it doesn't mean that it's impossible. It just means, okay, like you have these big ideas, you have these big, you know, beliefs and what you want to be doing or what you think you should be doing or where you've been going or the path that you've been walking on. But mentally speaking and, and on, a, on a basic level, something about this or something about the way you've been viewing this needs to change. We need to get the details and the facts and, you know, the information correct, right? And so we're seeing a new side of something. We're seeing a new perspective because of this new information that's coming in. And so now we're like changing our minds because we also see that this is, yes, it may be difficult or there may be some you know, some cons to this particular, these particular revelations and to this particular mental shift, but it is the more secure and responsible way. It's the more mature way of going about whatever this is, right? It's the way that like is going to actually have us ground our ideas into reality instead of just being this ping pong ball in our minds or having this big picture, but not doing anything about it. Right. And so this is really what I think this full moon in Gemini is going to be about. This is what I think this story is kind of unveiling to us. Let me know if you uh, stayed this long, if you're still here and still listening. I appreciate you. You are a badass. But I really feel like, you know, this full moon in Gemini is like, how can we ground our, our beliefs, our plans, this information into reality? Right. Like it's time to, with everything getting ready to enter Capricorn, you know, Mercury just entered Capricorn. Venus is going to be entering Capricorn right after that. And then the sun will be entering Capricorn in about like another week and a half or so. And so it's like, how can we ground these ideas, this mental shift into reality, right? And so not only are we getting clear about what needs to change and about the new information, the new perspectives, the new ideas that are coming in, but we're also getting clear about what to do, what to physically do in our reality about these things, how to bring these things into our reality, how to actually structure it in a way and start doing something about it, to start creating it in our reality in the 3D world, right? And so this is that kind of energy. It's like, okay, like if you want these things, you're going to have to do the work to get them, right? You're going to have to do the work. So we're kind of seeing where we've had maybe some of these ideas that it's not that they're impossible, but just sitting around and fantasizing about them all day or thinking about them all day and not do putting any of the 3D physical effort in to make them happen. It's like, okay, maybe that's why they are not coming to fruition. Maybe that's why your goals are not coming into fruition, right? So this focus ends up coming into our goals and our plans and what we want to achieve in the earthly material sense and how to start bringing these ideas down into an earthly material manner, right? And they're getting like serious, like practical, serious, and mature about these different things that we're thinking about, that we're considering, this new information that is coming in. This is really what it's like, we're having massive moments of truth, you know? Like, I don't wanna say truth bombs because I don't think it's necessarily like a truth bomb. I mean, it somewhat could be for some people, but it's kind of like a reality check in a lot of ways, but it's not like, I don't feel like it's daunting or like, oh wow, reality is really shitty or anything. I think it's just like, oh, the way I've been going about this needs to change. It's like we're having a massive perspective shift because this is the middle of the Mars retrograde, okay? So we've already had time to start learning what this retrograde was gonna be about. And now at the halfway point, this is a massive turning point. This is a massive shift in how we've been viewing things, how we've been seeing things, how we've been identifying things, how we've been perceiving things, the things that we've been thinking about, the things that the information that we've, that we've had so far, it's changing, right? It's all changing. I really want you to understand that for this full moon, your mind may change about something big and it may feel like scary because it means that, oh, 
now I have to face something or now I have to deal with this issue or now I have to figure out how to problem solve, you know, because my mind has shifted so much because I've had such a massive change in the way that I've been thinking about this or the way I've been going about this. You know, it's like we have such a mat, like perception is everything. You guys like perception is everything. And I feel like our perception of something, our perception of reality in a certain area of our lives is changing. And it's like a big change. Okay. It's like a big change and it can feel very quick and very like, it can just kind of hit you out of nowhere. Uh, or it could feel like it brings a certain level of frustration with it. Cause it's like, Oh, I thought I was doing this one way. Or I was seeing this one way. I was trying this one way. I was, I was putting so much time and energy in this direction. And now I'm like going in the complete other direction, you know, and, and it can feel annoying and it can feel kind of like aggravating and frustrating to us or to others, you know, because if our, if we're making a new decision, if we're changing our minds about something that has to do with others or that could affect others, obviously they could get annoyed. They could get frustrated. They could get aggravated with us, you know, but they'll likely be going through the same thing in their own life, in their own way, in, in some other area, you know? So it's like, we are having major mental shifts, major changes in our mind at this time. And it's okay right? This is exactly what this is doing. We're experiencing this for a reason. So if you can find the higher reason or the higher meaning of this in the shift, in the mental shift that you that you have, in the, in the shift in your state of thinking that you have, or in your state of going about something, or in the information that you have, we can use these energies beautifully, where we are not like, you know, oh shit, this is all bad. Like, no, there's a reason we're having this mental shift so we can actually grow and move forward and uh, go about something in a new way that actually does bring us the success and fulfillment that we want, right? And so that is how I kind of like want you to think about this. If you do, if this does happen to you and you're like, oh my gosh, this is so annoying. I can't believe it. Like I'm, I'm rethinking everything now. Like this is normal, okay? This is normal. There's a reason you're rethinking everything. There's a reason your opinion is changing on something. There's a reason that your mindset is changing about something. And that is okay. Because it's time to grow up. It's time to take accountability. It's time to take responsibility for our actions and the way that we are going about something or perceiving something. Doesn't mean that we need to beat ourselves up over it, right? This is not what I'm saying. But we are going about it in a new way. And that is okay. Right. And so we may change our minds back to something that maybe like we previously thought where we were previously like thinking that way, but then we changed and now we may be changing back. You know, for some people, this could just be like, you know, reflecting on the way that you've been thinking or going about something. For other people, this could be completely changing your mind to something brand new that you had never thought about before. You know, it's like new information comes in and we're like, oh, and we can't ignore it right? We can't ignore it. It's like we have like, it changes, it changes things like big time. And so we have to start applying that, right? So for this full moon, be open minded, be open to changing your mind, because there's been something that maybe we haven't been seeing clearly, or there's been something that we've been kind of skirting over, you know, like not truly understanding or seeing all the way, or it's felt confusing. And now that is becoming clear. Right. And so from here, now we can actually get more clarity and move forward and have more information on what it is that we're moving towards and what it is that we desire. Right. And so and then we can start practically applying that to our day to day lives with Mercury and Capricorn. So this is a big deal. Full moon. I mean, it's not like as big as the eclipse season that we just had, but it still is a big deal in this larger Mars retrograde cycle. And so let me know down below. Have you already been seeing these themes in your life? I know I have. I've been seeing a lot of back and forth in people lately. I've been seeing a lot of um, people changing their minds about things in their lives, you know, that it's like, oh, you know, we kind of realize like, I can't keep going about this this way. Like this way of thinking, the way I've been perceiving this is not accurate at all. Like, and so, but it's, it's, it's to help us. It's to help us mature. It's to help us to step into our own personal power more. Think back to, you know, what has been coming up in your life since around August. Uh, and then what's been coming up in your life since like the end of October, and some of that may be getting like thought about right now. Like you may be rethinking some of that. And then also Venus is about to enter into Capricorn 
um, not long after this full moon, I think like a few days after this full moon. And this is a really big deal. And I wanted to talk about this in this video because the last time that Venus was in Capricorn was this time last year when she was retrograde. Okay. Like she was in like Capricorn, November, December, and January. And I, I can't remember exactly when she moved out, but she was in, she was in Capricorn around this time last year because we had the Venus retrograde there. So we were completely, you know, reconsidering our desires in terms of adulthood, in terms of growing up our goals and what we strive for, what we want to achieve in our lives, work and structure in our lives and uh, what we were attracted to in regards to those things. So Venus now getting ready to move back into Capricorn is going to bring up some of those things that we learned at the end of last year and beginning of this year, right? And so watch out for those themes as well. So let me know down below if you stayed for the first part of this video. I really, really do appreciate you if you did. And let me know what you think, what you are noticing for this full moon. I would really, really love to hear what you guys are noticing for this full moon because I know I've been already noticing it. It's been crazy. So let me know down below what you are seeing come up for you. And uh, with that being said, we are gonna go ahead and start on the signs. Uh, so your rising sign will resonate most. There will be timestamps down below so you can skip to your rising sign and hear what is in store for you, how these things are playing out for you specifically and where in your life. So I love you and let's get into it. Alrighty, Gemini baby, let's get into your horoscope for this full moon happening in your sign, boo. So this full moon for you, Gemini, this is a big deal. You're going to be feeling this the most, like you are the star of the show here. Okay. So a lot of the times with full moons, you can feel heightened emotions, like this heightened sense of intensity, this heightened sense of sensitivity to different things around you, your environment, other people, the way that you're thinking. I mean, your thoughts can provoke emotional responses very easily right now. And especially with this full moon happening on Mars and your sign, you know, you can kind of have these uh, reactions, you know, but you're also learning how to kind of process these things, how to rethink things, how to, you know, go back and, and really process what you're about to do before you do it. So these are some of the things you could really notice coming up for this full moon happening in your sign. Now, a lot of the times a full moon in your sign as well will kind of bring you back to yourself. It'll kind of bring up the side of you that maybe you haven't really embraced in a while, right? Or maybe it'll bring up new revelations about yourself, your appearance, the way that you're, you've been going about something in your life. You know, it'll bring up these new changes or these new revelations or new information in terms of your identity and what you, you know, what you, how you look at yourself and what you identify with, you know, like, and so this could be a time where it's like, uh, some massive changes happen where you have these big revelations that a uh, changes that you need to make for yourself or within yourself or in terms of how you express yourself, how you like your style, your appearance, you know, things like that. And it could also show you, you know, something about like your, your personality traits as well, you know, uh, like certain traits that maybe you haven't been embracing as much and, and those can come to the surface. And, and it can also, with it being on Mars, I would also say that this is going to be strongly about individuality for you, Gemini, where this is very much about you taking the lead on something, you like realizing your sovereignty again in some way, right? Like you realizing that, you know, where you need to step into some kind of leadership or worry more about yourself, you know, in some way where it's like, it's really this like jam packed full moon. That's like really bringing it back to you and who you are and what you desire and what you want and your actions and you paving the way in your life, right? Like this is your story. And for the last few weeks, you could have really been focused on others, right? You could have really been focused on your relationships with other people, your connections, you know, and what's going on with them and, you know, how everybody else sees you and fitting in with everybody else. And this full moon is like getting back to you. It's like, okay, well, hold on. I understand how they're seeing everything. I understand what's going on with them, but what about me? What's going on with me? Like, where do I wanna go? What, what path do I wanna carve? Like, you know, where do I need to embrace more sides of myself that maybe I haven't been, you know, this is really bringing the focus back on you. And it's cutting through, I think, bullshit in your life too. You know, Mars can cut through things. So I think it's cutting through certain bullshit where maybe you've been 
kind of confused in some ways on who you are versus who you are with others versus who you want to be in the world and how you present yourself in your professional life or your reputation and things like that and what you desire, your dreams, etc. And so you're getting a lot more clarity on this. It's like the answers are starting to come in with this full moon and this Mars retrograde that's been retrograding in your sign for like the last couple of months now. And so you're getting a lot more answers and solutions to things, I think, at this time for you to move forward with, for you to blaze your own trail, so to say, right? I really feel like that's kind of what's coming in here. You're also maybe rethinking how you've been acting or going about something or how you've been reacting in a certain situation. And so that could also come up as well. Now, Mercury, the ruler of this full moon, your chart ruler, if you're a Gemini ascendant, just stepped into Capricorn at the time of this full moon. And Capricorn Gemini for you is your eighth house. So this could also bring up the topic somehow of money and finances and other people's money, other people's resources, and uh, possibly inner power and, you know, maybe some kind of uh, depth or, you know, transformative situation as well that, that could be coming up here or investments, business, you know, uh, financial matters that you want to take to the next level, but you're kind of reconsidering um, your identity in some way or your mindset in some way with this as well. So let me know down below, Gemini, what you do see coming up for you. And if you do see any of these things that I've named off, I would really, really love to hear your feedback and see what you guys are having coming up in your life. And then also, uh, really quick here, if you would like to support me further or get more content from me, I am doing tons of huge, huge things over on my Patreon this month. I'm doing solar return readings for the top membership. So it's the $40 membership and you can cancel at any time. So you could literally sign up to get a solar return reading for $40. Now they are not like super huge detailed solar return readings. I mainly just focus on, you know, a few of the big things that stick out to me for each person. Um, but I am also doing uh, annual perfection readings for the top membership and the second highest membership, the $25 membership. And then I'm also gonna be doing 2023 uh, like content and overviews and horoscopes and things like that uh, for uh, the uh, another membership as well. So if you're interested in that, see the description below, sign up for my Patreon. Uh, we start doing, like all of that will start, I believe next week. Um, it's on the schedule for so definitely make sure that if you're interested you sign up ASAP so you can know when it is and so you can attend because you do have to be there to get the reading so hopefully uh, I will see you over there if you would like any of those things um, and we are going to move on to cancer cancer this Gemini full moon is happening in your 12th house boo so this is a time where you are really seeing a lot of things from a new perspective uh, in terms of the ways in which you undo yourself, so to say, right? The ways in which you unravel yourself. The 12th house is the house of self undoing because this is the place where we can kind of get into vicious circles, vicious patterns, subconscious habits, you know, subconscious patterns where we can do things that can sometimes lead to our downfall, so to say. So it rules over like self-sabotaging behaviors. It rules over mental health. It rules over isolation and seclusion uh, and hospitals and things like this. And so these are some of the themes that could be coming up. Now, some for some of you, you may not see all of those things coming up, okay? Like hospitals and things like that are usually a little bit more um, the extreme end of the 12th house. But this can be a time, a full moon, that where maybe, you know, like the 12th house can deal with like, you know, getting sick and having to kind of, you know, take a step back from your normal day-to-day -day life in some way because of that seclusion factor. Uh, but this could also be, be endings as well. But these are the things that can really come up like full-blown for this full moon for you. But this could be really big changes and really big like revelations that you're having where you're really changing your mind about something or you're really changing subconscious patterns, right? It's like you're seeing it from a whole new perspective. You're seeing it from a whole new angle and you've realized that maybe you've been a little bit too gung-ho, so to say, uh, in your life, you know, like maybe you haven't been taking care of yourself. Maybe you've been more focused on other things in your day-to-day -day life and, you know, looking at the higher, you know, the higher, uh, the higher picture for all of it. But now it's like, okay, what are these other small things that I need to start paying attention to in my 
in my life, you know, that I've been neglecting, right? Like these, you know, facts, like what are the facts of the situation that I've been maybe kind of neglecting or ignoring or not wanting to face, not wanting to look at. And so those are some of the things that could be coming up around this time where you really see how maybe you've almost been your own worst enemy in some ways, right? Or you've almost like, uh, you've gotten yourself into situations that kind of unravel yourself or that lead to some kind of, you know, uh, big ending or big downfall, right? Like where you've kind of been self undoing or self sabotaging or whatever the case may be. And so these are the, these are the things that can come up, but this is really good because with Mars here, you're able to cut through the bullshit, you know, you're able to cut through the bullshit. You're able to see things in a new, in a new light and, and blaze towards a new path with something once you have that, that mental reset, right? So I really feel like this is going to be a massive mental reset, massive mental change in terms of where you've been kind of self-sabotaging or getting into situations that are just not like healthy for you anymore, you know, like that in that leave you feeling really mentally scattered and not sure of what's what, what's real, what's not, you know, and uh, how they kind of how they can kind of also mess with, you know, your belief systems, right? And then also with Mercury moving into your seventh house and ruling this full moon, I feel like this is also very connected to your relationships and close connections within your life, you know? Um, I feel like you're maturing. You are wanting something more solid, more stable, more responsible. You're, you're you know, looking and with Venus going to be moving into your seventh house too, you're probably going to feel more attracted to people that are more mature, more solid, more responsible, that have their shit together, you know, that are, that, that are accountable for uh, what they say and do, you know? And uh, yeah, I just, I feel like this is like a time where you're, you're really changing your mindset on something and you're getting rid of or you're kind of cutting through old self-sabotaging patterns, cancer, that kind of leave you uh, feeling very mentally scattered or even mentally unstable at times, you know? And so let me know down below, cancer, uh, what you see coming and if this resonates. Also, this could be some information that is revealed um, that kind of came from, you know, that's been hidden from you or something like that. That could also be the case for some of you as well. And it could deal with some of the people in your life or uh, your job or your relationship or something like that. So let me know down below if that resonates. I'd really, really love to hear your feedback on this one, Cancer. And then also, I am doing a ton of stuff on my Patreon before the month of December, like solar return readings, okay? Annual perfection readings and 2023, like overviews and horoscopes and things like that. So you do not want to miss out on this. My highest membership will receive all of this. My highest membership also receives the astrology course, which I am still doing, by the way. We still, we're only a few weeks in. So if you would like to still sign up for that, you can. Uh, and you get all of the other readings, individual readings that I'm doing this month for only $40 a month. And you can cancel at any time. You could literally sign up just to get these readings, you know? And obviously they're not full-blown readings like you would get if you bought a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me. Um, I'm gonna be doing them for whoever shows up to these lives on Patreon. So I'm gonna be focusing on like the biggest things I see for each person. But if you are interested, definitely make sure to sign up. We will be starting these events next week. So if you don't wanna miss out on this, Make sure to sign up, check the schedule so you know when, and make sure that you're there if you would like these readings. So thank you, Cancer. We are gonna move on to Leo, baby. So Leo, for Leo Risings, this full moon for you is happening in your 11th house, or I should say our 11th house, because I am also Leo Rising. So this full moon's happening in our 11th house of friends, acquaintances, social, our social connections, networking, marketing, the audiences that we have if we're on social media or have a business or whatever, like, right? And so all these different interactions and groups of people that we can kind of interact with or be involved with. Now, the 11th house is also our hopes and aspirations. And so Mars has been retrograding here. And so we've really been reconsidering, like, who we are involved with or who we want to be involved with or the kind of people that we want to have in our lives or the kind of uh, audience that we want to target or, you know, uh, the, the different connections, the interactions, the friend groups, our social lives. All of this has been kind of under reconstruction as Mars has been going retrograde here for the last couple months now. Now, on top of this, this full moon is happening right on this Mars retrograde, right as Mars is coming to its halfway point of the retrograde. So this is where we finally have some revelations, some new perceptions, some new perspectives, 
um, some new insight into this area of our lives, our friend groups, our social groups, our aspirations. You know, we've really been reconsidering what our aspirations are, what our hopes are, what our wishes are, what we want to fulfill within our lives and the people that we hang around, the different connections that we have and how those connections can either help us or hinder us, right? And so this is this full moon is really going to be uh, a massive change in this, a massive you know peak moment in this in this journey we've been taking with our eleventh house the last few months. And so we're really going to be reconsidering new information that comes in and possibly making some changes, possibly executing some some changes here, taking some action on this new information that comes in. And, uh, you know, I, I really don't feel like this is going to be necessarily too difficult for Leo Risings. It could br bring up uh, facing some kind of fear or facing some kind of frustration because of some of these changes that comes in. But other than that, I feel like, you know, we've been pretty confused in terms of what we're passionate about versus how other people view that, right? Like what we desire, what we want versus how other people, you know, like who, who's the audience for that, right? Like who, where are we, like, what are we doing with what we're passionate about? Who's watching it? Who's, you know, buying it? Who's interested in it, right? Like who, like how, like we've been kind of disconnected here. How do we want to bring our passions and our joy and et cetera to the world, right? And what group of people or connections do we need to do that, right? Like these are the kinds of things that could be coming up for a lot of Leo Risings at this time. And so there's been a lot of confusion here. And, you know, so now I feel like this is giving us some clarity, though. I feel like this full moon is definitely bringing in some answers, some solutions, some mental shifts, some perception shifts. So we're going to be seeing things very differently. And a lot of this is going to deal with our work because Mercury, the ruler of this full moon, is going to be in our sixth house of our work, our health, and our day-to-day -day lives and routines. Okay, so it's like we are maturing in terms of our work, our health, and how we're, how we're seeing those things, how we're perceiving those things. And this full moon is really tying into that. Okay, so it's like, you know, maybe we are changing our work environment. Maybe we're changing our target audience. Maybe we're changing how we're networking. Maybe we're changing how we're marketing something. Maybe we're changing, um, you know, who we're marketing to or something with our coworkers or something with a group of people that we are involved with because we have other responsibilities, you know? And so these are the things that could come up. You could see something go down with, you know, a group that you belong to or a friend or something change in these areas. And so, um, yeah, I feel like we've been really reflecting on where our creative inspirations lie, right? And so, and this is, I think, kind of bringing a lot of that to a peak, right? To some kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't think of it right now, but to some kind of climax, right? It's not necessarily the ending, but it is a huge step forward. It is like a huge moment in this journey that we've been on. So let me know down below, Leo, if any of that resonates and what you are noticing coming up if you are Leo rising. I'd really be interested to hear what you guys are coming up and what you guys are making of these transits so far and how you've been noticing them in your life. And then also, I am doing big shit this month over on my Patreon, solar return readings, okay? You can get a solar return reading, a yearly perfection reading. Uh, I am also doing other 2023 content. Okay. So if you are interested in that, if you would like to get one of these readings now, these readings are not full blown readings like I would do on my one-on-one, -on -one, right? Cause I'm doing them for, uh, you know, an amount of people, you know, back to back. So it's going to be, I'm going to be focusing on some of the main things that stick out to me, but nonetheless, you still get a reading, right? And so um, the highest membership on my Patreon will receive all of these things, but I have a $25 membership that, you know, can read that where you can receive some of them. And then like the lower you go, it's like, the less you receive. But if you're just interested in one, you can sign up for the tier for that specific one. So if you are interested, see my description below to learn more and sign up for my Patreon. My highest membership also gets my astrology course that we are in the middle of right now. We just started a few weeks ago, so you can still sign up and catch up. And uh, yeah, so everything to get to that is down below. It's all over on my Patreon. So hopefully I will see some of you there. And with that being said, we are going to move on to Virgo rising. So 
If you are a Virgo rising, this full moon for you is happening in your 10th house of career, reputation, your achievements, success, where you're going in the world, where you feel your path is, where you feel your destiny is, where you feel you're being called to, right? And so with this happening here, these are some of the themes that you could notice that notice coming up with this full moon, right? This full moon is happening right on Mars. And so this is definitely going to be uh, possibly a massive perception shift or a massive change, uh, new information that comes in that really changes things that you have to act on or execute in some way that is happening in terms of your career. So this is like a very quick and intense shift in the way that you're maybe going about your career or how you see your career in some way or the path that you've been going down or what you think in terms of success or life in general like all of that is really what is coming up here it's like a big shift a big change in terms of those things so with that being said though you know you've been really focused on your personal life your home your family your foundation and so this is kind of more so focused on your external life, what you want to accomplish in the world, the direction that you're going in. Maybe you need to step into more of a leadership role. Maybe you need to take the reins. Maybe you need to, to really uh, do something that's going to step you into this change, this new shift in your life. Now, on top of that, Mercury, the ruler of this full moon, will be just entering Capricorn at this time. And Mercury and Capricorn for you, Virgo, is your fifth house of fun, romance, children, sexuality, pleasure, and things like this. So you could really be, again, kind of seeing how you have, uh, what you need to do in order to bring more fun into your life. Now, Capricorn is your fifth house, okay? So <laughs> it's kind of like a structured fun or a mature fun um, or something that is going to bring you pleasure, something that's going to bring you a sense of ambition or physical success or physical fulfillment or uh, like physical improvement, right? And so this could be tying in with this full moon as well. These are some topics or themes that you could also be noticing coming up, but you've had a lot of confusion in terms of where you're headed in life and ver versus your relationships and things like that. And so I feel like this full moon is bringing in some kind of clarity or some kind of you know, shift that helps you move forward in some way. It's like you're really reflecting on your career or your path in life, you know, and this could be a massive change in the way that you're thinking about it, the way that you're viewing it, the way you've been going about it. And so let me know down below, Virgo, if that resonates or what you do see coming up this week, <laughs> this crazy week. And then also over on my Patreon, I am doing tons of readings this month for 2023. You can get a solar return reading, a yearly perfection reading. I'm also doing just general 2023 overviews and stuff. So if you would like to sign up for that, see the description below. I will have all the information down there. The highest membership of my Patreon, which is only $40 a month, and you can cancel at any time, will receive all of these readings, but you can also sign up for a lower, lower tier and receive some. Okay. So it just depends on what tier you are depending on what readings you receive, but the highest membership receives all of them. So, and also my astro course, which is still new. We're only a few weeks in and you can still sign up for that if you are interested. Um, so with that being said, we are going to move on to Libra. So Libra darling, this full moon for you is in Gemini in your ninth house of travel, education, your belief systems, your faith, where you find purpose and meaning in life, what you want to learn about, what you want to explore in life, getting out of your comfort zone, new ways of thinking, new ways of seeing things, higher perspectives, etc. So with that being said, this full moon for you, Libra, could definitely bring up some major shifts in the way that you've been going about something with these topics or areas in your life. This could bring in a whole new vision for your future, a whole new feeling or opinion on the path forward. This could bring in massive belief shifts. Like you could really be uh, going through a massive belief change at this time, like where you're just completely uh, doing something totally different in terms of what you believe or an old belief that you once had kind of falls apart. This could also bring up some debates or potential arguments. So you do want to watch out for that this week in terms of what you believe and opinions. It's like someone else could be really testing your opinion on something or testing a belief that you have on something. And that could be part of it. That could be part of what changes your mind on something, you know? And so, but this definitely can be a change 
that somehow gets you out of your comfort zone or pushes you out of what you're normally used to thinking or experiencing. And so, but it, I feel like it is purposeful. It does have meaning there. And so, you know, this could be a time where it's like, <clears throat> if you're going to school, maybe you decide, I'm changing what I'm going to school for. You know, I don't, I'm just not interested in this anymore. Or this could be like, I'm changing, um, <clears throat> you know, maybe I wasn't going to go to school and now I am going to go to school. You know, like this could be something like that. It could also be, you know, like I said, changing your beliefs, changing your worldviews, changing your views on life, things like that and where you want to go in life and, and your higher vision for your life, right? And so you're really having major perception shifts here. Now, part of this could also deal with your home and family as Mercury will be entering Capricorn and Mercury rules over this full moon. So this could also deal with your home, your family, your personal life, your private life, the past, and something coming up there with that as well that you're kind of moving through at, this, at the time. So let me know down below, Libra, if this resonates with you. I would really love to hear your feedback and what you notice is coming up for you for this full moon, even if I didn't talk about it. And then also this month on my Patreon is huge. I'm doing solar return readings. I'm doing yearly perfection readings and other things. You can get those things um, for specific memberships. I will leave all the information below. The top membership will receive all of them though. So if you would like to receive a solar return reading, a yearly perfection reading, and everything else, plus my astro course right now, and you can cancel at any time, uh, then definitely make sure to sign up for my Patreon. Now, obviously, these readings I'm going to be doing because I'm going to be doing them for everybody that is in a specific tier on my Patreon. Um, they won't be like super like detailed hour-long one-on-one readings like I would do if you got a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, right? They're going to be more like, you know, 10-minute readings, you know, like where I'm focusing on the, the main things that I see coming out, right? And you do have to be live and attend for to, to get one of these readings. So uh, we will be starting some of them next week. So if you are interested, then make sure you see my Patreon down below and uh, sign up so you can get the schedule and so you can be there and not miss out. And with that being said, we are going to move on to Scorpio. Scorpio, this full moon for you is happening in your eighth house of investments, money, finances, other people's money, shared resources and finances, you know, debts, loans, inheritance, things like this, things that really deal a lot with finances and other people's money and resources and kind of that exchange between you and others or you and an institution or you and whoever, right? And so uh, it can also deal a lot with like business and sometimes really deep and powerful change or uh, even, you know, deep and powerful uh, conversations and things that are just kind of deep and powerful, basically. <laughs> and so this full moon for you is going to be happening there. So these are some of the topics that you could be noticing come up. So this could be a massive change in some of these areas of your life where, you know, you change your mind about something, you change your mind on something that was happening previously in these areas of life. And now you're like, no, I'm going in this direction. There's new information that comes in that really causes you to shift or you get new insight into a solution of an issue you've been having in these areas, uh, something along those lines, but either way, there's a shift. Now, this could potentially bring up some challenge or some difficulty or some frustration though with Mars can jump this full moon in terms of these topics as well, especially finances, or if you're dealing with another person's money, another person's resources, if you owe another person money or they owe you money, you know, there could be some frustration that kind of comes in uh, with this. So you do wanna just kind of uh, be weary of that this week. But other than that, I feel like this is a massive reflection a massive change in mindset on finances, investments, business, how you've been going about some of these topics. And then we also have Mercury moving into Capricorn at the time of this full moon, which for you, uh, Scorpio, is your third house of your day-to-day -day environments, your day-to-day, -day, uh, the the day-to-day the -day things that you do, your errands on a day-to-day -day basis, the work you do on a day-to-day -day basis, people, places, and things you're hanging out with on a day-to-day -day basis. So you can see some of these themes coming up with this too. Maybe you have new ideas, new insights into how you want to uh, move forward with something, you know, and somehow it it ties into your day-to-day -day reality, your day-to-day -day environment, or your day-to-day, -day, your, your skills in some way too, you know, and you decide you want to start, you know, implementing certain skills or learning new skills or something like this. So let me know down below, Scorpio, if this resonates with you. I would really, really love to hear your feedback and what you're 
feeling and seeing happening for this full moon. And then also this month on my Patreon is a huge month. I am doing solar return readings, year ahead readings, annual perfection readings, like all of it. So if you are interested, I'm doing those readings for the higher tiers. Um, the highest tier, my $40 membership, will receive all of those things. So you will receive several different kinds of readings this month if you are that, and my astro course as well, and you can cancel at any time. So if you are interested, all the information is down below. You can sign up for a lower tier and still get some of the readings I do, but everything you need to know is down below if you are interested and would like to know more about it. It's all in my description. So with that being said, we are going to move on to Sagittarius. So Sagittarius, this full moon for you is happening in your opposite sign, in your seventh house of other people, relationships, <clears throat> your significant relationships, commitments, etc. So this can be a time where there is a lot of possible frustration or animosity or uh, just annoyance coming in, possibly some anger coming in in terms of your partner or your relationships or other people in your life. You can feel like other people are very uh, argumentative or confrontational or trying to debate with you all the time. And so there could be something happening here where another person uh, kind of ends up giving you like a harsh but very true new perspective on something, right? It's like they could be coming in and just cutting through your bullshit being like, look, this is what it is and that's it, right? And so, and it kind of makes you rethink something um, or their actions could do that where it's like making you rethink something, but this is some kind of shift, some kind of possible big change in terms of relationships for Sagittarius risings, where it's like you are going in one direction and now you may be going in, in the opposite or another. You know, it's like you have a new perspective on something. There's some kind of new information that is revealed, uh, but do just be on the lookout because there can be a lot of intensity, a lot of frustration, a a lot of confrontation in terms of other people and feel like the people close to you are just like, you know, <laughs> losing their shit this week, um, bouncing back and forth, very flaky, all of that, you know, so just kind of be on the lookout for that. And then also Mercury, the ruler of this full moon, uh, enters Capricorn right around this full moon, which is your second house of money, income, your priorities and finances. So some of these relationship stories or topics or uh, situations that could occur for you, Sag, could be somehow also related to money, finances, your priorities, your resources, and things like that. You know, like these could be arguments or uh, a situation that comes up around your resources or around your priorities, you know, like maybe you're really seeing like, you know, where you need to shift something in terms of your priorities to do with your relationships, you know, to do with other people in your life, right? And so this is a time where there is a lot going on in terms of relationships and, and, and possibly a huge move, huge actions, um, and huge shifts in how you're perceiving something uh, within relationships. So let me know down below, Sag. I'm very interested and curious to know how you're seeing this come up in your life. <laughs> if you are a Sag rising, I really would like to hear your feedback down below. So please let me know because I'm very interested. And then also, this month on my Patreon, I'm doing huge things. I'm doing readings, solar return readings, annual perfection readings for some of the memberships, mainly the top memberships on my Patreon. So if you are interested in this, if you would like to get readings, at least like one or multiple for the year ahead, because I'm doing using different techniques for each reading, then sign up for my Patreon. All the information you need to know is linked down below. What memberships will be getting what. The top membership will be getting all of it, all each reading. So several different readings if you attend the lives where I do them. And then also the top membership receives my astrology course as well. And then you can always cancel at any time. So if you just wanted to sign up to get the readings, you can do that. <laughs> that is an option. I mean, I would like to have you stay, but if not, then that's fine too. So with that being said, we are going to move on to Capricorn. So Capricorn, this full moon for you is happening in your sixth house of your work, your health, your day-to-day -day routines, your day-to-day -day responsibilities, the ins and outs and the details of your day-to-day -day life. So with this happening in your sixth house, this could definitely be some big changes occurring or some big revelations, some big truths, um, some new information being revealed in terms of those areas of your life, of work, health, your day-to-day -day routines, your day-to-day -day tasks, what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis, right? And so these are some of the things that could come up where it's like 
Maybe you've been, uh, you know, kind of secluded, not really focusing on your day-to-day -day responsibilities because you've had, you know, all this Sag energy. So it's been taking you kind of out of that and more into, you know, your own little world or your own little realm or whatever. And then now we have this Gemini full moon and it's like, hey, this needs your attention. You know, it's just kind of shooting in here and it's like, this needs your attention and there's this challenge and there's this thing and there's that thing. And so, uh, and this could also be a, a massive change in terms of, your work, you know, or a massive change in terms of how you've been going about your health. Maybe you're like, you know what, like, I need to switch this up. I thought that this was the answer, but it's not. It's like, you're figuring out a new answer, a new solution for something possibly. And uh, this also is going to involve you, Capricorn, because Mercury, the ruler of this full moon, will be in your sign at this time. And so this is going to come back to how you see yourself, your identity, your appearance, you know. So again, this really could be for a lot of you about health and fitness and exercise and taking care of yourself and how you're taking care of yourself and your routines and your, pro your productivity and your mindset towards these things as well. And so let me know down below what you do see coming up, though, Capricorn. I would really love to hear hear your feedback and I'm really curious to know how this full moon ends up playing out for you. This can also be habits, by the way. I forgot to mention that. This can also be your day-to-day -day habits and habits that you may need to break that are, uh, you know, just keeping you from where you desire to be or keeping you from really moving forward, right? And so, Anyways, on top of that, December is a huge month over on my Patreon. I am going to be doing solar return readings, annual perfection readings, all kinds of things for certain tiers on my Patreon. So if you would like the details, see the description below. You can literally get a solar return reading for just signing up for my Patreon. The solar return readings and all the other readings will be gotten by or will be rewarded to my $40 memberships um but you can cancel at any time and then some of the like the 25 dollars membership the 15 dollars membership will also be getting certain readings but the solar return readings will be for my 40 dollars members and then the 40 dollars members will get all the other lower tier readings too so if uh and the astro course the 40 dollars member is also for the astro course which you can still sign up for like we are still pretty much in the beginning of it so if you are interested see my patreon you can see the details below as to what tiers will get what um the higher you go the more you get basically so anyways i am what am i saying <laughs> thank you capricorn we are going to move on to aquarius aquarius this full moon for you is happening in your fifth house of your love, passion, play, pleasure, sexuality, fertility, children. You know, where is your passion at? What do you do for fun? This is about fun, right? Maybe you've been a little too focused on other people or your long-term aspirations, whatever. And this full moon is coming in to say, hey, maybe you need to reconnect with your passion, right? Maybe you have changed. Maybe there's something else that you're passionate about now, right? Like maybe your passion is changing. Maybe something like how you felt once felt about something that you loved or were passionate about, maybe that's changing, right? Maybe you're getting a new perspective, a new view on your sexuality. Maybe you're getting a new perspective, new view on something that you've been doing for fun or what fun really is to you, right? And so this is like really reconnecting with your passion, but also there could also potentially be like a shift there, a change there, like a change in your mind and what you love or what's fun to you. Like maybe something that was once fun to you or that you once loved just no longer is. And this could also bring up the topic of children. So I would say prepare for some frustrations or annoyances or maybe some tantrums like from children if you have children. Um, if you're dating someone, there could be potentially some frustration, annoyance, or conflict in terms of dating uh, right now. So that could also be the case for some Aquarius rising. So yeah, de le definitely let me know down below Aquarius what you're seeing uh, come up for you for this full moon. And then Mercury will be just entering your 12th house at the time of this. So this can also bring up the topic of, you know, seclusion or, um, you know, focusing on something more behind the scenes, focusing on healing, focusing on subconscious habits, you know, um, things like that. So let me know down below what you see coming up, Aquarius. I really, really would love to hear your feedback. And also this month on my Patreon is huge. We are doing solar return readings. We are doing annual perfection readings for the year ahead. We are doing all kinds of things. So if you would like to get a reading, you can get one of those readings. Like a, It's obviously going to be a shorter version of it, not like what you would get like one-on-one -on -one for a full one-on-one -on -one reading because I'm going to be doing a lot of people at one time. But you can get a shorter version of it 
for a pretty like amazing affordable price by signing up for my Patreon and you can cancel at any time. Uh, but all the details for that will be linked down below as to what tiers get what. The higher the tier, the more that you get basically. So yeah, thank you Aquarius. We are gonna move on to Pisces. So Pisces, this full moon for you is happening in your fourth house of home, family, and your private life, your personal life. What's going on behind the scenes? What's going on, you know, in the nest, right? Like your roots, your ancestry, your family, you know, your past, like what you hold on to. And so this Gemini full moon can be bringing up those topics, those themes for you. Now with this moon, the, the, with this full moon conjunct Mars in your fourth house, this can bring up some confrontation or conflicts from the past or within your family um, or within your home life or your personal life, your living situation, things like that. Or this could be where you're changing your mind about something, you're moving in a different direction with something, your perception is changing about something and you're taking action based on that new perception, based on that mental shift. Um, so there could be a lot of different ways that this plays out, but those are some of the bigger ways I think that this could play out for Pisces risings. And then Mercury, the ruler of this full moon, will be uh, in your 11th house at this time. So this could somewhat involve your aspirations, your friends, your social life, you know, the groups that you belong to, your tribe, so to say, or the people that you feel affiliated with, you know, acquaintances, um, an audience, if you do things online or whatever, um, networking, marketing, things like that. So somehow those things could be coming into play here. But I really feel like you're like trying to move in this new direction in terms of your home and family, but you've also been reflecting on the past and reflecting on how you feel about some of these things. And so this full moon can really bring all of that together and shine a huge light on this. So this could be a revelation, a realization about something to do with home, family, and personal matters in your life right now. So let me know down below, Pisces, what you do see coming up for this full moon. I'm really interested to know for you guys, uh, especially with this one, because it looks pretty interesting. And so let me know down below if you can. I would really appreciate that. And then also, December is a huge month over on my Patreon. I'm doing solar return readings, yearly perfection readings, annual perfection readings, they're called, for the year ahead and more. So if you would like to get a reading for a cheaper price than you would on my website. Obviously, they won't be as long and detailed as they would be if it was like a one-on-one -on -one reading that you got on my website, but they still nonetheless will be readings that I will be doing for certain tiers on my Patreon. So I will have the list of tiers and what they're all gonna be getting down below. We start next week though, so if you're interested, you can sign up for that. The higher the tier, the more uh, of the, you'll get all the readings basically. Like if you sign up for my top membership, you'll get all the readings plus my astro course because my astro course is still going. So you also get to learn astrology if you're interested and you can also cancel at any time. So uh, really like, you know, you can sign up just to get this, like just to get readings this month and then cancel. I'd rather you not, but you can do that if you would like. So with that being said, we're going to move on to Aries. So Aries, this full moon for you is happening in your third house of your local environment, the things that you experience and think about and move through on a day-to-day -day basis, your skills, the people, places, and things that you interact with on a day-to-day -day basis, what you think you know, you know, where you are comfortable in a, in a sense uh, with your environment, with your surroundings, with how you think and things like that. So this full moon happening here can speak to maybe a lot of busyness. Maybe you're running a lot of errands this week. Maybe you're, it feels like you're doing a lot of different things. Maybe you're having a lot of different conversations. Maybe you're talking a lot more. Maybe other people are talking to you a lot more. And I would also just say to be careful in terms of uh, driving, road rage, these kinds of things, getting into arguments and fights with people. Um, be careful of that because this full moon will be conjunct Mars, your chart ruler, if you're an Aries rising. And so this can bring up some, some frustrations and some conflicts, some anger. So we do want to be careful about that, right? Like we could be saying a bunch of things or you could be saying a bunch of things that is not what you really mean. Like, and so you may have already been reflecting on, you know, like speaking without thinking or, you know, something along those lines, right? And so these are some of the things that you can notice coming up for you with this full moon, but it could also be, you know, something that you decide, I want to learn something new, or you have this massive mind sh mindset shift or this massive perception shift on the way you've been seeing things in your day-to-day -day life, right? Uh, I will also say, just be careful with driving on a week like this because it can feel, 
you can feel very distracted and there can be a lot going on at once. And you know, the third house does deal with transportation. And so just be careful, okay? Is what I'm saying, I'm not saying for sure anything's gonna happen, I'm just saying, just be careful. I have to throw it out there. I'm trying to just be helpful here. But, uh, and then also Mercury is moving into Capricorn, which rules this full moon, which is your 10th house of your career, your goals, your long-term goals, your long-term achievements. So the this could also be coming into play here. Maybe you're wanting to change your skill set, you know, maybe, um, and go after a new career, or maybe you're wanting to upgrade your skills in your career, um, or to achieve a desired goal or something, you know, maybe you're wanting to learn something new, uh, or something like that. So these are some of the things you could see coming up as an Aries rising. Let me know down below if that resonates Aries. I'd really love to hear your feedback. And then also this month is a huge month over on my Patreon. I'm doing solar return readings, yearly uh, annual perfection readings for the year ahead. So, and more. So if you are interested, see my description below. I'm gonna put all the details down there and what tiers get what. So you would know what to sign up for if you wanted to sign up and get one of these readings for a way more affordable price than you would on my website site um but they will because they're not like a full-blown one-on-one reading they will be a little shorter but if you would like that you still get a lot of information about what's coming for your year ahead and things like that if you would like that you can sign up on my patreon so moving on to taurus so for taurus darling this full moon is happening in your second house of income resources money finances all of those kinds of things your priorities you know your just what is important to you, what you feel supports you, right? So with this full moon here, this is really bringing up those topics of resources, income, money, priorities, you know, what's supporting you at this time. And so this could be a massive shift in your priorities, a massive mindset shift in terms of how you've been going about things, in terms of what you feel is supporting you right now, in terms of money and income. You know, this could be a massive shift here. And you've already kind of been reflecting on some of these topics for the last few months anyway. And so I feel like with this full moon, this could be something where it brings up something that needs to be done or an action that needs to be taken or uh, something where you have to execute something to get something to happen. Um, this could also bring up a new way of thinking about something, could also bring up certain frustrations in terms of some of these topics as well. So you do wanna kind of watch out for that too. But I really believe that you are changing your perspective about something, that you're changing the way in which you've been going about something to do with your money, your priorities, finances, income, et cetera, et cetera, whatever you feel supports you as a person, right? And I feel like this because uh, Mercury, the ruling planet of this full moon, is going to be in your ninth house of Capricorn. So this could be a time where you are really wanting to achieve more in your life and you're really setting, you're really looking at your vision for your goals. You're really looking at uh, maturing and adulthood and your belief systems and your worldviews. And somehow that could be applying into whatever comes up for you around money, finances, and priorities for this full moon in Gemini. So it could be that you realize there are more options than you realized before. It could be like that you change your mind about something. It could be it could be that you are taking action on uh, making certain things new priorities to bring more of something in your life. It could be that there is a revelation or a new opinion about something that happens that changes things for you. So let me know down below though, uh, Taurus, what you do see notice or what you do notice coming up for this. I really would like to hear your feedback and I'd be very curious to see what you guys uh, have happening for this. And then also this month in December is a huge month for my Patreon. I'm doing year ahead solar return readings, annual perfection readings, and all kinds of other things for some of the tiers over on my Patreon, which is basically you're getting like, you know, shorter, but still very informative and powerful versions of readings on Patreon for a way more affordable price. So if you are interested and you can cancel at any time, Patreon is a subscription service, but you can cancel whenever you could literally sign up just to get the readings and then, you know, and cancel before next month. So it's completely up to you. But if you are interested in getting uh, those readings with me for a way more affordable price and all of that, see my description below. Everything will be listed. All of the tiers that get everything will be listed down there. Basically, the higher the tier, the more you get. Like my highest membership is getting 
all of the different readings and all of the different content because they get everything on Patreon. They also get my Astro course, which you can still sign up for. By the way, we're only a few weeks in, so you haven't missed much. And again, you can cancel at any time. And so, yeah, so that is everything for this video. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. And I will see you guys very, very soon in my next one.